this is Matt Reynolds, editor of Packaging World Magazine, back with another Technology Minute. Have you ever encountered seal failures or other rewrap issues on the shrink packaging line? Often there are simple, effective technical fixes you can use to solve common problems and support your continuous improvement efforts. We're here today with Kurt Borman from Clysar LLC, one of the North American leading developers and manufacturers of polyolefin shrink film. Kurt will share today's most commonly seen packaging problems found on the shrink line and what you can do to diagnose and solve them. No matter what type of shrink packaging film or equipment you run, these troubleshooting tips can save significant time and money while eliminating packaging rejects and waste. Kurt, before we start, can you give us some background on what led up to this video segment? Sure, Matt. Our Kleisar technical service team supports hundreds of CPG shrink packaging operations across the country, running just about every type of equipment and product application you can imagine. Our team encounters a number of very common technical support issues. Sometimes operators think the issue is the shrink film, but that's most often not the case. It's typically an easy-to-fix interaction between the equipment and the film. Okay, let's dive in. Kurt, what is the leading shrink packaging challenge you see in Clysar technical service calls? Matt, hands down, failed or bad side or cross seals are the most common problems we see. Either incomplete seals, no seals, or unattractive seals. So what might cause this? Worn pads and or tapes will simply change the pressure at the point of contact between the knife and the pad surface. This will cause less than an ideal seal. How do you solve this? Well, the first thing many operators do is turn up the heat. It seems intuitive, but can make things worse. Do not turn up the heat. Turning up the heat will only cause more equipment damage and weaker seals. Remember your best seal is at the coolest temperature with complete cutoff. Other common things to look for, if the seal pad is worn, it's going to give inconsistent sealing, which will create issues in the end. Replace the pad if it's worn. And again, if using Teflon tape, it holds the same principles. If the tape is worn, replace it. Are seal issues common across all types of shrink equipment? Matt, they are, but there are differences based on the types of equipment you have. For high-speed continuous motion side seal equipment, the issues are found more typically on the side seal. The causes of this are often incorrect film and belt tension. The tension is often too tight, or your belts are dirty or in poor condition. You can resolve this by adjusting belt tension. Too much pressure causes film breaks and tracking issues. Too little causes slippage in the conveyor process. Make sure the seal is in the middle of the package and there is the proper film amount between the package and the side seal. Clean the belts of residue. Kurt, how does the packaging operator determine the proper film and belt tension? Well, remember, tension is not your friend because there may be different types of film that operate on the same side seal. A distinct setting is not easy to define. The best setting is when the belts are set with just enough pressure to keep from pulling the film out by hand. Kurt, what else might cause problems downstream from the sealing process? Matt, one of the things we often see is packages that don't separate properly, something we call cutoff. It looks like this, and there can be many reasons for this, but the most typical is incorrect air pressure or seal pressure, and a typically low pressure. If you're experiencing cutoff problems, here's a couple things to look at. Adjust the air pressure of the equipment to the factory standard. This is typically somewhere between 70 and 85 PSI. But again, check the equipment manual to verify. One other item to look for is your factory air supply. Occasionally, these are inconsistent and will cause issues within the equipment. Kurt, a premium package appearance is critically important to brands. What are some quality issues that trigger waste or rewraps? Matt, one very typical issue is film tracking. When you see this, chances are it's caused by poor hygiene of the equipment. You see this a lot in manufacturing environments that are dusty, dirty, or have product residue and particles. Make sure to inspect the hygiene of the equipment prior to troubleshooting it. Clean the unwind drive, idler rollers, the film plow, the knives, and inverting head. Kurt, simple cleaning sounds like a pretty simple fix. Can it make that big of a difference? When I'm on site at a customer, I often take a dry scouring pad or a clean, damp shop rag, 
clean the surface, and a lot of times we're good to go. I've seen some shrink packages at retail where there have been actual holes in the shrink film or it doesn't wrap tightly around the package. What causes this? We call that cleanup. It's a very common issue. One very common trouble spot is the bottom of the package. This can have two causes, a worn riser bar and incorrect film perforation. Too much perforation and the shrink package collapses prematurely, causing a loose, wrinkled package. Too little perforation and you will get a burnout in the ballooned section of the package. A couple troubleshooting tips. Inspect the riser bar. If it is worn, replace it. Number two, adjust or add perforation to the product. Kurt, what, in summary, are the most important takeaways in avoiding costly packaging line disruptions and packaging rewraps? Matt, it all comes down to basics. Simple maintenance and correct equipment setup will do a lot to keep your shrink packaging looking great and your line performing at peak speeds. It's easy to revisit your equipment manuals or find setup information online from your equipment manufacturer. Another important takeaway, today's faster, more efficient equipment will push through more shrink packages in less time. Do not rely on long-term maintenance schedules. You may be surprised that you need to replace worn components and clean equipment more frequently as speeds increase. Finally, don't be afraid to rely on your packaging distributors and shrink film manufacturer. Shrink packaging is more complicated than it looks. Kleisar's technical service team is always available for technical troubleshooting support, live or remote. We hope you have found this helpful. If you would like copies of troubleshooting tips like you heard today, contact Kleisar. We'll send you free magnetic checklists for troubleshooting at the sealer and troubleshooting at the tunnel. Thank you for listening. Thanks, Kurt, and thanks to our listeners. We hope you found this segment informative. That wraps up another edition of Technology Minute.